Hello, hello. Today we're going to do family trees. So pause the video here, try the question and then continue on to see how I answer it. Okay, so when it comes to family trees, people struggle. But why do they struggle? It's because they don't know what to write. They know, you know, they need to get an answer that's similar to the mark scheme to get the marks. But the question is, how does the examiner want me to think? And that's what I was thinking really in year 13. Um, until I realised, you know, let me just make a framework for myself. So this is the framework that I used. I essentially would start off the answer by st by stating whether it's um, a dominant or recessive allele. I would understand that from looking at the diagram here, which I've like labelled and so that I can try and understand what's going on, right? So I say that, and then I say why. This why is my next statement. It will be based on the diagram, something that I've seen that supports the fact that is dominant or recessive. Then I say which chromosome is it on? Is it on the X chromosome or not? That's always a mark, whether you say it's on the X chromosome or not, and this most likely will be from the exam questions I've seen. That's literally one mark for a few words, you know, it's great. You also get one mark to say whether it's dominant or recessive. So already you've got two marks, just by saying this point and this point, and it is a two marker, so here and here, but this point here is kind of like the same as that. So we won't count that as a mark, but this is another mark one someone can get it's by saying um, the why statement. So if the question is more than two marks, follow this framework. If it's just two marks, um, you'll get away with just doing these two um, questions, okay? But let's have a look at the diagram, let's go through it. So we start off with a male and female. The female has it, and the offspring, from the offspring, you know, a male and a female gets it, right? Nothing interesting going on. Yeah, so what? Two of the offspring got it. But what's really interesting, right, is this section here, the red circles. An affected male, you know, his daughters are the only ones that are affected as well isn't that strange <laughs> basically that would mean that the allele uh, would be dominant okay because the daughters are affected why is because it's carried on the x chromosome so aka in other words affected fathers always pass um the you know the disease to the daughters as shown in this diagram. So yeah, that's how you do that. <laughs> um, it's hard to get your head around, but I've done a few videos going through family trees, so you can have a look at that in the playlist of this topic. Um, yeah, if this was hard, don't worry, <laughs> because in the examiner's comments it says, and I quote, right, this question was challenging, but differentiated well between candidates. Only a minority and I repeat, minority of candidates gained marks. So, here's what I really, really want you to remember. Whenever you're stuck and you don't know what to put, and you're like, oh, I'm just not going to get any marks. Don't worry, don't worry, I've got you, okay? Just state the obvious stuff, aka the ones I've highlighted in yellow. Don't just ditch a question because you don't know how to answer it fully. Or you're like, I'm just, I'm just confused. When you write stuff, I like to call these things filler, filler statements, okay? In my humble opinion, these two, uh, you know, questions, the dominant or recessive or which chromosome is it on, they're like, to me, filler statements, because I'm not really describing, you know, um, the inheritance of rickets, right? That's in the why part. I'm basically bypassing that, not doing the hard thing, but I'm just going to do the simple thing of saying whether you know, it's dominant or recessive and which chromosome is it on. So, whenever you're stuck, just state the obvious ones, and they are in the mark scheme, right? Whenever you look at a mark scheme, like, I don't know how they got to there, don't just look at the part that you didn't understand, look at the other statements that are written, and you'll notice that, you know, you could have said that, so just say it. it I know it's, um, it's easy to say but hard to implement, but as we go through more questions um, in this channel, Hopefully you'll start to understand what I'm saying. And you know, one day I'm confident that 
you'll remember <laughs> what I said right now and you'll be like yeah you know what she was right <laughs> Hopefully that, that's the goal. Anyways, <laughs> remember the two most important exam technique tips are read the question first and state all the obvious points. Now over to you. Try some questions and let me know how it goes.